I'm an accidental drummer. I never was really into technical music. I was more into stuff that just felt really cool. It's tedious. <laughs> Very interesting. Hey, I'm Patrick Carney. I'm in a band called The Black Keys, and I'm making a drum sample pack here with Steven Slate. We're gonna do two kits. This kit is, I think it's 60 or 61 round badge Gretsch that I got off of John McBride. This kit, it's just something vibey about it. I, lo I love to use it in the studio. This is a set of vintage Peisty Formula 602 symbols that I bought in pieces. They just sound super cool. They're not too bright, but they, they I, th I like the Pisces because tonally they sit above the drums. They're not super mid-rangey. This is a non-Zildjian vintage hi-hats that I have, but I love these things. On the kick drum, I have an AKG D30. It's like the big brother of the D12. It's dual element. You can put it in Omni, Cardoid, or Figure 8. I put these spot mics up, or we put these spot mics up on the, on the toms just so we can get some detail, and on the hi-hat, but typically just use a kick, snare, overhead, and then stereo pair. So the, for the stereo pair, I love Cole's 4038s. This is kind of in a Glenn Johns technique, kind of centers around the snare, but since I have two Two toms. It made more sense to kind of get more of the image going this way. And uh, if I were to center off the snare, the kick drum kind of goes weird. So it's centered off the kick drum. And so is overhead. Mono overhead, this is a 251 clone made by a company called Upton that was modded by a company called Analog Anonymous. Edit the tube changed in a few things done to the circuit. It sounds amazing. I have a 47 that I love too, but this seemed more useful for a drum overhead. For the room mic, I have a mono. I have a mono room mic. It's a newer 87. It's just getting completely crushed about 10, 15 feet from the kick drum facing a non-treated wall of my studio. And I also have an old EMT 140 plate sitting to the left of my kit. We take the stereo out of that and record it because as I'm playing, it will resonate the plate and it works as a giant reverb microphone. If people are gonna be using samples, I'd rather get some stuff out there that I help create, just because there's so many bad drums in this world.